Hey everybody and welcome back to the final part of the series of Connect With Your Seasons. So today we're going to be talking about autumn and the autumn phase of your cycle. Now this phase, coming back to my handy chart here, will be this pet phase of your cycle. As you can see, it will take us from the points where we had really high levels of both progesterone and estrogen and watch as they start to tail off and the dropping of these um, levels of hormones actually paves the way for us to start our bleed. So it's a really, really important part of the month that these hormone levels start to reduce down and therefore signify to the body, right, now is time for you to bleed. And it's a really interesting phase because it's about reduction, it's about decrease, and it can leave people, it can leave women, feeling very unstable and lost. So that reduction in hormones, these things that make us feel good or nurturing or confidence, actually they're all reducing and to some points going very, very low. So lots of things that have picked us up during the month, suddenly we don't have that anymore. And suddenly we're in a place where we can feel much more exposed to our environment and much less equipped to be able to deal with it. And you know what? You're not alone. A lot of women find this a really uncomfortable phase of their cycle and often describe themselves as not feeling like themselves, um, especially during bouts of PMT or premenstrual tension, which this phase, if there's going to be a time when there's tension, it's generally around this phase for most women. So this is the phase that I've also coined as batshit crazy phase. And the reason for that is that often I spend the first half of my autumn, I love that and we'll get onto that in a moment, but those last sort of day, maybe two days just before I come on, things start to go more extreme for me. And actually I have written a blog about when I was really, really in a very intense period of the batshit crazy phase just about to come on, um, of just all the stuff that was going through my mind. And it's really interesting because when I sit outside of the batshit crazy phase, I really can't connect to it that much. But when I'm in it, it's all consuming, which is where this phase can feel so challenging for women. And that's why I think it's so, so useful for you to be charting your cycle. Because when I'm in there, I forget that I've ever been out of it. And even though it may only last a day, and at its most intense, maybe only 12 hours, but if you feel like me, like I did at many points, that, that that's who you are and that's who you're destined to become forever in a day, it's actually really helpful to go back to your chart and go, oh, I'm in my batshit crazy phase. Ah, and then in the autumn. Oh, it's okay, this will pass. And that can be such a relief because we can judge ourselves so, so tough during this phase. Because as we go on to, to show in the moment, this is the phase where that inner critic, or inner bitch as I like to call her, can come in and really, really go to town. So, the autumn phase is the premenstrual phase, or the batshit crazy phase as I like to coin it. And what's happening is that we have a decrease of energy, both physical and mental energy is starting to reduce. And it's that decrease that people can find very challenging because what you could do maybe three days ago, suddenly you can't do in the same way. You don't have the same memory recall. You don't have the same desire to be able or the same energy to be able to go and do the pump class mixed in with then a full day at work and also catch up with somebody on the phone. Suddenly you're starting to become much more retreating and over that part of my cycle how I start at the start of my autumn phase and how I finish just before I bleed is in a very very different state. It's a time of inner truth focus. So we start to naturally go very within during this phase. And again, it changes throughout the phase. Um, but this is a time when we start to get curious about us and start to get to know our truth. We see things, we feel things on a much greater level at this particular point in time. So this phase is also called our creative phase. And I think that that's a wonderful description for how we have the ability during this phase to be able to have the mental capacity to draw lots of links between things and create those connections for us to be able to understand and to have and create this brilliant insight. This phase is really, really good for this particular um, aspect. But 
the creative part doesn't just lie with the connection of things that have happened to us, how we've processed, how we've understood things, but it also gets very creative with creating things. So how many of us can get a bit more paranoid during this time? Or how many of us can start to make up stories as to, how did they just speak to me? I'm sure they didn't, I'm sure they don't like me. I'm sure that they, they're, they're pulling away from me. And that's because we're in a creative phase that we can draw brilliant insights, but we can also make huge amounts of assumptions, usually quite 50% right, 50% wrong. So this phase is brilliant for you to start drawing some conclusions, but what I suggest is you don't take any action during this phase. If you feel like there's an issue in your relationship, if you feel like there's an issue within your work, this is a really good time to just observe it and then go very still with it, go quiet, take it into your bleed, and when you, if you could still find it important during and after your bleed, you know it's something then that later on in the month you need to pick up and have those discussions or create that resolve. But the batshit crazy phase is not the best time for you to be having deep and meaningfuls because your creative brain is going to be creating things left, right and centre and some of it will be truth and some of it won't be. So hang fire, bleed on it and then start to see whether it's still relevant to you then. If so, then start to look at <coughs> dealing with it in your spring or maybe your summer. One of the other parts to the autumn phase is this extreme sensitivity. <clears throat> Huge amounts of those hormones, especially the estrogen, give us confidence. And um, one that's not on there is testosterone, which is very confident. It makes us feel very robust. And it's like we can take on the world. Well, those hormone levels are starting to dip. So all the things that give us this really protective suit of armor, suddenly we don't have. And so we can be way more sensitive. You know, how many times have you felt like somebody said hello to you the wrong way? Or right the way through to you have this euphoric joy, but also you can be, feel extremely sad and hurt. And perhaps you're not even aware why. What's caused it? Because you're working so, you're so extreme within your sensitivity. Again, anything that comes up with that, just be gentle with yourself. Make a note of it and then you can always come back to it, bleed on it, come back to it and see whether it's anything that's relevant. So this, this is a time of exceptional insights. It's a time of when you can really get a grip as to what's working for you, what's not working for you, but just a word of caution, you're gonna get quite creative, you will get creative during this phase and you're gonna be very extremely emotional or sensitive, sorry, which can create extreme emotions. So take the time to just reflect, write it down, go away and bleed on it. If it's still important, you know you need to action at the other side. So I hope that today you've enjoyed connecting in with the autumn phase or I just, I can't stop saying it enough, the batshit crazy phase of your cycle. I do recommend that you go and download from my website the free how to chart your cycle document because what that will do is it will allow you to chart and so you can know and connect in with what phase of your cycle you're in. And I know for me, whenever I started to connect in to discover that I was in my autumn phase, especially when my mind was starting to get very creative, I would know, okay, just write it out actually this is going to pass soon because I'm going to go into my bleed and then I will release all the tension around here. But if you don't know that that's what phase you're in in your cycle, it can take you really by surprise and it can feel incredibly uncomfortable. And just knowing I was there and knowing that that was the norm to be in that place and knowing that it would pass within 12, 24 hours felt so liberating and it's been massive for me because I've judged myself like many of us do very, very harshly during this phase. Whereas actually if I know that there's some other counter evidence, it means I can be that bit nicer to myself. And all round, just that bit kinder, that bit nicer, and enjoy being me that little bit more than perhaps I was uh, at previous stages during this phase. Um, so not only have you got the free download, which you can find on my website, which is www.thefemininespace.com, but also I'm running the Connect to Your Feminine Flow course. At the moment it's set for the 17th of September, but I'm really struggling to find a venue. So as soon as I've got a venue confirmed, I will let you know, but there could be some leeway on that date. Um, I'm hoping to have it confirmed within the next few days, um, give or take people being on holiday and me being able to contact them. Um, but as soon as I do, 
please book onto it. It'd be brilliant to have you there and so that you can learn more and more depth about your feminine flow, but also things like the food and the exercise and all the different activities that you can do throughout the month that really help you to support yourself to be the best version of you, to be the Wonder Woman that you can be. So feel free to invite other members to the group. Thank you for those who have done it already. Um, but yeah, women that are loving this stuff and really need to know this information. So feel free to invite people in and um, get them connected in with the seasons. So the next time you're going, oh, I'm in the batshit crazy phase. People know what that means. And it's just woman to woman or, you know, you to your partner, you get one another. And that becomes a universal language just makes that thing makes life that a little bit easier so I want I've really really enjoyed uh, giving this information or sharing this information with you across this series I hope you've enjoyed listening and watching and I look forward to speaking to you very soon by the way feel free to leave any comments and feedback on how you found the series on now that you started to connect in with your cycle what things you've discovered what has inspired you perhaps what may be less so and really all the things that you're starting to learn about yourself I get really fascinated by this so feel free to share Lots of love and I shall see you again very soon. Take care. Bye.